I'm David Bonert, director of the Eastern Oregon Agricultural Research Center, and we're at our Burns location. The research and outreach that we conduct at the Eastern Oregon Ag Research Center pertains to cow-calf production and rangeland uh, research and management in the Great Basin and primarily in the sagebrush steppe ecosystem. The Eastern Oregon Ag Research Center here in Burns is uh, really a collaborative group that we have. It's jointly run and funded by the Ag Experiment Station of Oregon State University and the USDA Agricultural Research Service. And then we also have another group here, uh, the Nature Conservancy. Uh, we do a lot of nutritional research. We look at uh, types of supplementation strategies that we can use to improve forage utilization and improve cattle productivity looking at how the nutrition of the gestating cow or female affects the long-term productivity of that calf once it's been born. The history of the Burns Station started in 1911 when the Harney Branch Station was established and the Harney Branch Station was actually not what we have today. It was more in a manner to, to help with dry land farming and help the homesteaders be more sustainable and in this environment homesteading didn't work and uh, that Branch Station actually went back to the county and then uh, this piece of property was purchased in the 40s and uh, the Northern Great Basin Experimental Range was purchased uh, actually in the late 30s and that became the Eastern Oregon Ag Research Center and in 1974 we joined up with our sister station up in Union to become known as the Eastern Oregon Agricultural Research Center. The, the cattle that we have at the Eastern Oregon Ag Research Center all trace back to 196 head of Hereford cows that were purchased in 1936 and 1938. Uh, since that time, we have purchased no females uh, and brought them into our herd. We have improved genetics through the use of bull selection and artificial insemination, but we haven't purchased any females. Everything that we have on this operation can be traced back to those original 196 cows. We work with a lot of people to deal with these complex natural resource issues where historically we might have had one thing that we had to deal with. But for instance, sage grouse and the candidate conservation agreement with assurances that started here in Harney County and has spread throughout the state of Oregon really helped in not listing sage grouse. Well, that sage grouse issues are not a one issue problem. Um, it takes a lot of people, it takes a lot of different organizations that have to get together and have a common goal and objective and work to get there. And that's one of the things that we do here, I think quite well, is use the science that, that is generated here and, ar and around the region to help address some of these complex natural resource issues. The Eastern Oregon Agricultural Research Center here in Burns also does a lot of outreach and especially youth education. Uh, for example, this spring we've got uh, the second grade field trip for Harney County second graders. We bring them out and we show them uh, the science that we do and hopefully try to let them know that science is a field maybe that they might be interested in. And it's one way, small way, that I can give back to the industry that's really helped me get to where I am today.